We are now going to quickly rig this robot to apply what we've learned in previous tutorials. It uses custom controllers, which work the same way as Dewey controllers, with the complete rig for the legs, and you'll see that this is stretchy. You can pull the leg, but you can also play with the side and foreshortening of the leg. The controller above moves the body, you can play with the character as you wish. And the head controller, you'll see that the neck is stretchy too. So let's read this character together. It's just a Photoshop file which has been imported with the controllers which are just simple Photoshop layers. The first step, as always, is to create the bones we need for this character. So let's start with the legs. To quickly create the leg at the right location, let's just draw a Bezier path on the shape layer like this. Keep it selected and just go create the leg. I'm just making sure it's the right side because this is the right leg. It's the right of the character. And we can now do the same with the left leg. And finally, the spine. So here, let's choose the layer we need. There are hips, a neck, and the head. Hips, no layer for the spine, neck and head. The anchor point for the hips is going to be a bit under the layer, like this. It will be more natural when it moves later. The, the anchor point of the neck, just above. And the anchor point for the head, a bit higher like this, around the mouth and the tip. Now the bones have been created, we can parent all the layers of the character. So we don't want to parent the controllers. Let's bring them on top and not select them. And just select all the bones and all the layers of the character and click on Link Art in the Bones panel in Duik. Duik uses the name of the layers to parent them automatically to what it finds in the bones. It couldn't parent the, the eyes and the mouth, because there are no bones for them, so let's parent them manually to the head, to the bone of the head, and same for the antenna, which is the child of the bone of the head. Now, everything seems to be correctly parented. Let's just check quickly by rotating the bones. Okay. If everything has been correctly named, it should be correctly parented by Duke. And now that this is done, we can auto-rig this character but we want to use our own controllers. So for each controller, I'm just going to move the anchor point to the corresponding bone, the one which is controlled. Here it's the foot. Move the anchor point, and to perfectly align the controller on the bone, in the links and constraint panel, click on Align Layers, move the anchor point, select the layer to align, and click on Align. Here it's the body, so move the anchor point to the hips, select the hip bone, and click on Align Layers. Here it's the neck, move the anchor point to the bone of the neck, select it, and align layers. And finally the head, same, move the anchor point to the bone of the head, select it, and click on align layers. We'll see the antenna later, let's just hide it for now. All these layers are controllers, so we need to tell Duik these are controllers. In the controller panel, click on tag as controllers, so that Duik knows these will be our controllers. Keep them selected select the bones, and just run the auto-rig. And the rig is ready, so this works correctly. Let's just hide all these bones. And test this. The legs work, but it's not stretch stretchable yet, but we'll see that later. On the body, Duik adds a hips controller, which does the, exactly the same as the body controller we have here. So this controller, we can just hide it and tell Duik this is not a controller anymore, it's another type of layer. So in the tools layer, I'm just changing the type to, for example, null and apply. And move it under with the bones. Here it moves the body. Here we have the neck controller, which you're going to use with the rotation mostly, and the head. Uh, with the neck which is not stretchable yet. So this is our character with the base rig and now we need just to make this stretchy. So to do that we're going to use the puppet tool 
on the limbs we want to stretch. So let's just solo the layers of the leg to create more easily the puppet pins. So on the left thigh, let's just add a puppet pin at each end of the layer. And so that it stretches correctly, we need to switch the puppet engine to the legacy mode. And this is controlling the stretch of the limbs. So let's do that on each layer of the legs. Sometimes when you switch the puppet engine to legacy, the puppet tool doesn't do anything anymore. It, it's broken. If that happens, just save the project and open it again. Or reopen the same project. And after that, it should work correctly. So now the puppet pins are ready. We can just select them to create Duik pins to control them. So just select all the pins at once and in Duik, in the Links and Constraint panel, click on Add Pins. And finally, we just need to adjust the parenting of the layers. Let's unparent the layers of the leg to parent the pins to the bones. This can also be done automatically with Duik, with the Link Art feature. Here, we have not named the puppet pins, so we need to parent them using their location. So don't click, but alt click on the Link Art button, and Duik parents according to their locations to the corresponding bones. And now, the leg is now stretchable. And you can use this side effect to rotate and for have a foreshortening on the leg. Let's just hide the pins. And finally, do the same with the neck. Select the layer, isolate it to create a couple of puppet pins. Switch the engine to legacy mode. Select the pins, and in the Links and Constraint panel, add Duik pins. Unparent the layer to parent the pins instead, using Alt-click on the Link Art button in the Bones panel. Let's just hide these new pins, and now the neck is stretchy. This is the main rig of the character, which is ready, and we just need to rig the antenna so that it bounces automatically and how we can use the cleaner to animate this character. That's what you're going to learn if you follow the official and comprehensive video course about Duik Angela.